I just finished up uh, doing a product demonstration to a uh, produce warehouse in Far, Texas. And uh, they do, they process limes. And uh, so we end up using um, uh, energy producer green power. Uh, at a 20 to 1 dilution, it got up all the tire marks. But there's a, it's, uh, and, they, and the maintenance man said that it would be a lot better than the product they're using. Start pricing is better than the public buy from it. The, uh, they got some black pitting stain on the spent. I think I'm going to have a little part of get that on the public buy from the owner of our company. I got to think about the, the law of attraction this morning. And uh, so I've been listening to these power of attraction trainers, and uh, some of them are saying you, you write your goals down in great detail, and then don't think about it anymore. Uh, you just you focus on your higher power. And I'm like, you know, this guy, this guy, this Ted, this Dr. Ted Mortar says that, that, you know, he proclaims that the, that higher power is that God, you know, the Holy Spirit, and to use the words of the Bible to ask for what you want, right? And so I, I, I believe that. Okay, the, the whole writing the list down is like kind of like Santa Claus gave you know, the Christmas list of Santa Claus, okay? But I've seen it work, literally. Uh, New Year's Eve, uh, nineteen. Eighty six, nineteen eighty six. I wrote down my goals you know, to make it seal training, make it seal training, uh, get you know, get that actually designated a Navy seal, had my first five hundred bucks and put you know, ten thousand dollars in the bank. And I had to look at those goals again, and I graduated from seal training February twentieth, nineteen eighty seven. Got a Bonus for about fifteen thousand dollars, but half of it up front. Or I already had the bank. I had my ten thousand dollars, and then six months later, on the day that I had my first fight with the box team, was the day that they actually pinned the tried not on the same day. And I'm like, well, that is powerful. Okay, no, and that did not happen. And so, okay, and I've seen how we focus on that. And ask for prayers. Good things happen. It's amazing how, how well they work. Because I've seen that happen before. And I, and I believe I believe that that's where you are. But the big thing is attitude. You know, I thought so it was like impossible. I, I went through SEAL training and you know, didn't make it the first time. And they put a letter in my record saying, not recommend for any further training. And I just kept reapplying. And six times they told me, oh, finally, I want the attention of this you know, well respected Navy SEAL mass chief, Mike McDonald, with the Pentagon, PTR team, and right, and I would make a training like that. We got to him. And all attitude, all attitude is what did it. We got the training. You know, and, and there's magic, you know, in things. You know, I didn't, I had no idea who Roy Jones Sr. was, who Roy Jones Jr. What were the odds I was going to leave the farm in Michigan and end up in that gym? Box. What were the odds of that? You know, and uh, you know, how, you know, I know that how, there's a the God has in that. So there's there's magic in the belief and the attitude, and that's what they don't just keep a good attitude. That's what does it for these warehouses, man. I've been talking to some of these guys for a year. They've given me no business, and now all of a sudden the business is popping. Because I just kept a good attitude, it, it harsh, you know, you got stupid, right? I just kept coming in smiling. And if you have a good product, that helped. But they, they started liking it. And that's, that's all the difference. So it's, it's, yeah, take doing the process right, but also keeping a good attitude. But that's, that's the secret. That's the real secret.